Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and join the growing family, turn the notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So, today is the 1st of December, which means the start of Vlogmas. Now, I am going to be vlogging, and I'll be putting a new video up every Sunday. Today, we're going to be doing Grief at Christmas. Now, this is a big subject for me because it affects me personally. But basically, in 2015, my great granddad died. And it hit me quite hard. In fact, that was probably the downfall of my mental health because I was there when he died, when the line went flat. And just that sound haunts me. That's why I hate hospitals. Because their machines just trigger that memory of being in the hospital knowing there's nothing I can do to save him. And it just really, really gets to me. So that, that December, around Christmas, I was at my uncle's. And he said, let's light a candle for great granddad Dudley. And I started crying because he was gone. And typically, every Christmas Eve, we'd go and see him. The whole family would go and see him. And obviously, we couldn't do that. So that was a real shock to the system. I'm still not used to it. Every year, I think, oh, I go into Grandad's. Uh, on Christmas Eve and it really losing someone really does impact how you feel and I wanted to say it's okay to feel grief grief doesn't just magically disappear it's more than five stages of grief. I remember when he died I literally went into the bathroom and I punched the hand dryer so much so it fell off the wall a little more strength behind me than I think but it, it's okay to feel grief no matter how many years it's been for me it's been nearly 10 years and I'm still not over it it just really affected me I think it's because it was the first loss I've had of a family member that I can remember when I was younger my grandparent my grandma's mom passed away from cancer and I was upset at the time, but I didn't fully understand what had happened because no one explained it to me. And honestly, I can't remember that much about her, which is sad that I can't remember much about her because I've seen photos of me and her together and I wish I could remember, but I can't. So my, my great-granddad dying was the first death that I personally experienced. And it, it just shook me. And even now, I, I try to spend as much time as I can with my grandparents because I genuinely don't think I'll be able to cope when they pass away. What well, on the subject? Grief at Christmas. So yeah, I was talking about my uncle and how he, he lit a candle to represent my great granddad. And it, that was the time I really started to struggle with my mental health. About two weeks before he passed away, I tried to kill myself. And honestly, I felt so... Honestly, I felt so selfish for doing that because he... I had a choice whether I lived or died. But anyway, grief at Christmas. Let's get on with the subject, shall we? Um, there are ways to cope, so it's just lighting a candle to represent them. And for me, I like reading back old cards that I had of him. That really helped. 
and looked at photos of me and him. I'll insert a picture of the photo of me and him that we last took before he died. And to anyone wondering, he died from seven heart attacks throughout that year. He was really unwell, but he wasn't willing to change his ways to try and prevent another heart attack. He just carried on how he was, and normally I'd grab my unicorn, my unicorns in a suitcase because I'm going to my mom's on Monday. Just like all my jumpers, like all my jumpers are in a suitcase, so I'm having to wear summer clothes, and I'm freezing to death. But hey, at least there's no snow here. I I do like snow. I I am a bit disappointed that we got, we didn't get any snow, but my mom got snow, so hopefully there'll be some snow when I get there. What are them bunnies doing? Hmm. Fixing the bunny ears. My chair also has a tail. I'll insert a picture of the tail here. Well, grieving around Christmas time is extremely hard. And what I try to remember every year is enjoy the moments you have with people because you don't know when someone's going to die. This is a really dark subject to start Christmas off, isn't it, really? <laughs> I, should have, I should have just done a video explaining what I'm doing, but here we are. I would be wearing a jumper if I had a jumper to fucking wear. Because it's bloody cold. And I don't turn my heating on because it makes my room too hot. Because you can either have it on or off, you don't have any options. So, that's fun. Anyway, grieving at Christmas. Fuck's sake, Lydia. Stay on topic. Basically, it's okay to cry. That's one thing I want everyone to remember. It doesn't matter if you're grieving or if you're just upset, it's okay to cry. But if you are grieving, Crying is a normal thing to do. So I know this is off topic, but the day my great granddad died, my grandma was so upset that she slept, she didn't fall asleep that night. She slept, stayed in the living room, I stayed with her. But because I was on medication, I fell asleep. And I felt so bad. Because I agreed to stay up with her. Just an FYI here, I am not very good at staying awake all night once I've had my meds. I do have the occasional night where I can't sleep, and if I do have that, I talk to Alana. If you don't know who Alana is, this is Alana. She's linked on the iCard, go subscribe to her channel, she just hit 3.5k, which is awesome. So go support her. Grief at Christmas is extremely hard and exhausting to go through. It's like you have all this sadness. I just want to tell you that grieving is totally fine at Christmas. When someone passes away and they're no longer there, it is an upsetting time. Like I said, I don't know how I'll cope when my grandparents pass away. Even just saying that makes me want to cry. And I'm crying again. Brilliant. I think the reason it upsets me so much is because of how close I am to them. I literally video call my grandparents every day. And I can't imagine life without them. Oh my god. This is such a depressing video. <laughs> That's what I've got for this video. I can't make any more of this. It's upsetting me too much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.